Hey, what's going on everybody? 44 coming into another video. All right. <clears throat> so, I guess I'll react. <laughs> I'll react to uh LeBron James taking uh Kanye West off his uh shop. I see the thing is it's tricky, man, cuz I'm a Laker fan. So, um for me, I'm looking at it almost a little differently, I guess, cuz I don't I, I don't have an understanding of all that Kanye may or may not have said. And this is one of those situations where I look at it no different than I look at the rollout of other things that are coming out to where they give you a little information but not everything or they're giving you more information than they necessarily need to to smear the person, make them look worse than they need to. This is yet another one of those. And I have to ask Bron. Why do we need to tell us that the episode was filmed if it's being deleted? You know what I mean? It's like, it's the same thing I said about something else. Which one of these stories? One of these scandals. But it was like, why are they telling us stuff that we don't necessarily need to know? Why, why is it that they're giving us information that would make a person, make the situation more? You know what I mean? It's, I guess... One has to question why it's necessary to tell us that it's something to be mad at Ye about. If he did something cool, you see what I'm saying? It's almost like the releasing of the footage of Draymond Green. That's what I'm trying to correlate it to. It's like, wouldn't it be best for all parties involved if the footage just doesn't get released? And, of course, the answer is no because the Warriors, and we broke all that down. But, I mean, it just in general, you look at it and you say, okay, what's the angle here? Why are we why are we intent on making public opinion more so yet again angry at yay about blank? And this is a pattern that is beginning here because we kind of had a, something similar happen with him getting banned from Twitter when he said he was about to go in on Jewish people and then was banned before he was able to really go to wherever place he was headed. And this is kind of why I addressed what I've addressed in this camera the way I have. I don't understand why people can't get a chance to offend. You see what I'm saying? In this case, with their faith, is it because they have the power to shut people up before they get a chance to dare smear their position? Because I see my people get smeared every day, and it's like funny to everybody, and like I'm supposed to absorb it like it's not a problem, but when somebody dares try to disrespect them, they get silenced before they get a chance to. Now, I don't know what Kanye was going to say on the shop. But if I'm going to put my money on anything, I'm going to say he was going to go on another one of those rampages that never actually gets heard because he's hinting that he's going to rampage but doesn't actually get a chance to. And I have a theory about that. I have a theory about that, ladies and gentlemen, and it's the same theory I had about him putting the White Lives Matter shirts on. It's the same theory. The theory is he's trying to show all of us something very, very, very obvious that that we need to see <laughs> that has been on our face but not necessarily something we've been paying attention to and that is some of the stuff that we some of the behavior that we have and some of the things that we adapt to we've been coerced into these mindsets by people who can control these type of things they control what we hear they control what we see and they control what it is that we intake for the most part and this is one of those they're not allowing anti-Semitic speech to get said. See, with, 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 with anti-black speech, anti-Spanish speech, any other anti-anything, you get punished after the fact. The words can get heard. <laughs> Whatever you're going to say, get said. But when it's anti-Semitic, nah. If, if they can catch you before you say it, or if you're hinting that you're about to say it, they're going to shut you down before you get a chance to. And that is what Ye is doing. He's showing us that. You never got a chance to really say anything. 
necessarily offensive. They didn't allow him to. They shut him down before he got a chance to. And I think that was the point. He's showing us all these little buttons that they can press. With the White Lives Matter thing, look at how everybody erupt. He's showing us. And then when he's going to say, okay, I'm going to have not yet to. Because he could have said it, whatever he was going to say, in that flurry of words. Do you understand what I'm saying to y'all? Like, for example, in that Twitter rant, when he said, okay, I'm about to go in on their people. Why didn't he just go in right there? He didn't go in right there, I believe, in my theory, because that was him alerting them what he's about to do. And they, from there, do what it is that they have in protocol, which is preventative measures, which are not in place for every group. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Preventative measures to assure that certain phrases aren't even said. Let alone are reprimanded after being said. Do you understand what I'm saying? These figures can't get these words out. You won't be able to say nothing about their faith. Ain't gonna lie. And that's what he's showing us. So it's like, all right, I get it. I get it. I get it. He's trying to create conversations. Conversations that we're not allowed to have. If you want to know the truth, people, we're not allowed to have it. And why are these allowances in place because the people who are in position to stop us from hearing these things are personally attached to these offenses these are things that offend them these are they people that's why they ain't have it and what we're saying is nah because you don't represent us you're only representing yourself but you're controlling everything else that everyone else hears that's not a, that's not cool no just because something offends you don't mean that it shouldn't be heard Nah, that's a dictatorship. That's wrong. And you find a way to do it underneath the shadows of what is supposed to be a democracy. Absolutely not. <laughs> that's essentially what yeah, you're showing us. They're doing this underneath our noses. And it's wrong. Censorship has a place. But as it pertains to racism and treating people a certain way, it should be fair across the board. Isn't that what everybody's screaming? All lives matter in there, what it's about? Well, what he's essentially showing us is the hypocrisy in that, in how we act and how we behave and how they handle us. If, if, if they are supposed to be pushing that each and every life matters as it pertains to the, uh, the matters of offense, apparently not. Apparently not. Not all people are created, created equal when it comes to what you can and cannot say about certain groups. So, Ye is pointing out each and every one of these hypocrisies one by freaking one while managing to teether in between being politically on one side and the other. Both sides have no idea what side he's on. And that is something you guys I've been watching as well for a very long time. I've been watching Kanye teeter back and forth between both political spectrums in this, in this country. And he stands on that tightrope at all times, throwing rocks on each side at all times. And I think he's doing it deliberately, and I'm going to be watching going forward because I think that's what he's going to continue to do. I believe that. <clears throat> but the focus, the focus, I believe um, what I'm going to try to remember about Kanye as he moves forward with all his antics and all his ranting and everything that he has overshared with us <laughs> is the mobile farming system investment that he's focused on. I really, really think that that is the meat and potatoes of what it is that we should be focusing on, focusing on in regards to this man. All that other stuff that's coming out of his mouth, I don't understand. It's exhausting. I ain't gonna front. I get it. But his mind moves too fast for any of us to keep up with what it is that he's doing. And he knows it. And he's having fun with it. And that is what I understand. He's having fun. He knows he's 20 times faster than, than he's just looking at seven things when he's showing us one. And that is just the, what it is with Kanye. He's looking at seven things. And he knows you're looking at one when he, you're looking at that thing that he's looking at. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a... It's like an orchestrator having fun with the people. He knows he has us all by a string and he's having a good time. He's messing with the one percenters. He's messing with the music people. He's messing with, he's having fun. 
And I think it's, I, I honestly believe he's just lashing out. He reacts very, very strongly to events in his life, you know? And that's what I've been noticing from afar. And so I don't know the man. I think that's about as far as I could take it. But when certain things happen, he seems to just lash all the way out. And so, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> that's just what I think is that something's happening in his life. His personal stuff is going on in his world. And you're seeing him lash out. So I don't, I don't think it's as simple. You know, with a guy like Kanye West, and I'd imagine because he's a super creative and, and it's so complex, I don't think it's as simple as sitting down with a, with a shrink. I don't, I do not think that. I think he needs like eight strengths and they need to all be talking to him at once. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Like he's that kind of, he's like, he's that kind of mind. You know what I mean? So it's like, just pray for him. That's all I do. As a spiritual person, I pray for the guy. And, and you know, I pray for everybody else too. But when I know people are complex and they're responsible for a lot, they're trying to display certain things. But it ain't coming off right. Now the world's angry at them. It's like, I don't know. I've been watching Kanye have fun with this for a long time. And people just, they love him, they hate him, they love him again. And he just continues to just control the whole thing. So, you know, I'm a fan of the music, but the antics, I just, I try to make sense of them. And with the brain I have, I often do, believe it or not. <laughs> I often do. And so, uh, you know. That's, that's just what it is. He's going to continue to act out. He's going to continue to show all of us the hypocrisy. He's going to continue to try to show us what's underneath the curtain. And he's going to continue to teether back and forth between one political spectrum and another. And you guys are going to have fun with it. And he's going to drop music. <laughs> it's going to be good. He's going to drop all kinds of, uh, you know, art form, you know, stuff like that. He, he's just got a lot going on at all times. But, uh. You know, he's pissing off the wrong people, I can tell you that. I know that for a fact. So, you know, it is what it is. But I think that's what it's about. He's trying to get the conversation going about who the wrong people are and try to get them to conversations about why we want to understand a bit better, you know? Why the rest of us want to understand a bit better. Yes, we appreciate. We appreciate the contributions, you know what I mean? We appreciate the dedication, you know what I mean, to, to, to building oneself up. And I think the example, the example of the Jewish people and how they operate and how they dedicate themselves to their family and to their faith, I think that's something that can be can rub off on all of us. I think that could be something that we can all share and understand a bit better. And I think we need to have stronger and deeper conversations and loving conversations that I just think people are afraid to have because they've been shutting the door on these conversations amongst us. I mean, look around. That's what Kanye's showing us. We can't even have these conversations. You know what I mean? We can't, we can't, we don't, we don't ask questions. We don't need to ask questions. And that's, you know, when we start to ask questions, we get shut down. And I just think that that is eventually when you shut people down like that eventually people will start looking around saying why am i being shut down why can't i have this conversation no different than the n-word which is why i try to bring it to this converse to this channel sometimes and make let people in on my conversation and my thought on that because i don't think it helps when you just tell people no don't come over here you can't say nothing over here and if you do come over here we're gonna do something it's like that doesn't inspire any understanding which does not inspire any loyalty, which does not inspire any compliance. And eventually you end up having people just angry at you and they don't even know why. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know why. And it's because you've made it so that they cannot have conversations about you. You see what I'm saying? That's like, let alone have a conversation with you. And so that's, that's the kind of thing where it's like, look, my ignorance, is my very own, you know what I mean? And I own that on my own. But apparently, apparently I am not alone in my ignorance because I look at Kanye and he's trying to start this conversation in his very, very strange way. I realize that other people share that, that ignorance and that, and that confusion. We don't get it. I don't get it. And I want to. Before I leave the earth, I want to understand some things that I just don't get just yet. And one of them is this. 
Why is the Jewish faith off limits in conversation in terms of controversy? Why, why are they so protected? And how do I get that protected? How do I get there? How do I earn that? Do I get to earn that? Or is it just something that doesn't come here ever? You know what I'm saying? I think that's the question that Kanye wants to ask in his own way. I just don't think he knows how to do that in a way that can be very, very respectful. I think I can, though. <laughs> I hope I can. You know what I mean? I hope I can. And I hope that I would be as someone who can receive someone else's ignorance about me. And that's a tough one. You feel me? That's a tough one. When somebody has never heard of you, don't know of you, and walk up to you with maybe only the understanding of bad words that have been said about you, and they come with a smile on their face, they say, hey, N-word. The first thing I'm going to do is think that they're coming to me with the wrong energy. But here I am coming to you, kind of with that same energy. Not necessarily saying, hey, N-word to you or nothing like that, but maybe my choice of conversation is completely and utterly disrespectful. You understand what I mean? But I want somebody to give me that benefit of the doubt to say, yo, this dude don't mean no harm. If the very least, he's putting himself out there to say, yo, I could get banned. I could, you know, they could shut me down. I ain't get off the ground. But I really want to, I want to bring this conversation to a place where even those who are guarding against it aren't afraid to have it. Even when, even in the space of of great, great, uh, great things to guard against. I think that sometimes you can at least give people a bit more clarity in regards to what it is that they're, they're wondering about. And so that's all I'm trying to um, bring to the table. You know what I mean? In a very respectful way, and I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. And I think I think a lot of people who, who feel like me are afraid to say that. So, you know, I, I applaud. Kanye in his own very unique way uh, for for t putting himself out there to do this. It's as dangerous as we can very well see. Uh, it's dangerous, man. And I don't think coming to people saying, you're not who you are, you know what I mean? Which is what he's, he's piggybacking, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's the right way to approach people. But I also don't know um, if, 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 if dispelling that rumor and myth isn't a big part of the healing of our people. You know what I mean? I really believe that. And after all the conversations I've had about this, I think that's what it boils down to for me. And it, it's, it's taxing on my soul, to be honest. I don't have a good time doing this. I don't. I don't. I don't enjoy this. And the reason why, beyond anything else, is because I'm a Christian person, and you know I understand of. Jesus Christ's relationship with the Jewish faith is very, a close one, a very close one. And a lot of the stories told were not good ones, negative stories. And I'm ignorant, completely ignorant to a lot of things. So it becomes taxing on my spirit, not because I'm worried about being canceled or not getting off the ground with my channel or pissing off the wrong people and, you know, having, having things go wrong in my life. But because... When you walk into a situation like this and you know people are shutting a door, a guy like Kanye West, $9 billion, he can't even say what he wants to say. When you know it's this serious, you understand that you're probably going to find some things under there that aren't favorable. When people are going through this, go through this length to silence people, in my experience, there's usually very, 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 very bad things to hear. You understand what I'm saying? And I just wonder if this is one of them things. This is one of those big things. You know, uh, this world, this world, man, 
history is told by those who won. You know, <laughs> those who won the wars told the stories. And I just don't always know if the history aligns with what it is that we see in various situations. Not in this one. I'm just saying in life, you like, you listen to stories, you hear about how things went, and then you find out little tidbits that weren't added to history books. You know what I mean? You find out different things, and you're like, what is real? What is real? Well, I know what is real. What I see is real. <laughs> and what I see is an imbalance there. I see an imbalance there in many ways. And so, you know, in any situation where there's an imbalance, um, there becomes a curiosity. And then from there you see uh, a suppression of that curiosity, you know, and so uh, that that is that's what's concerning. That's concerning in a world where so many different things are done in the dark. You just get a little anxious when that's the present, right? So that's that's why I speak the way I do. But I got love, you know what I mean. I don't think everybody's in on whatever, you know what I mean? When you think about such horrible conspiracies and such hurtful conspiracies, it has to be noted that I don't think everybody would know this. You understand what I'm saying? I don't think everybody would be aware of the secrets, you know, or whatever it would be of the history. I think that would be deeply suppressed from the, for the people who, who share the faith or from the people who would love the faith. It would be deeply suppressed. It's not like they would all be sh you know what I mean? No. And that's why it's so hurtful. It's like, people are exactly who they are. You know what I mean? Exactly who they are. Regardless of, of how they get to where they are, they are who they are. 4,000, 10,000, 20,000 years. If from this moment forward, we're able to keep our culture as black Americans, and we were black Americans. You know what I mean? And if they found the history of who we were before that, great, we were that too. You know what I mean? So to say people aren't the real this or to say people aren't the real that, I have no doubt that is deeply hurtful. You know what I mean? Deeply hurtful. So, you know, it's not something that, that I don't think anybody takes lightly. And if Kanye is taking it lightly, he's foolish. Deeply foolish if he's taking that lightly when he's bringing this to the table. You know what I mean? But for people that don't know who they are, which is us, and when you hear this and that, and then you see different people say different things, you just want answers, real answers. Not suppression when you ask questions, not when people you trust say, yes, this is what it is, and then you hear them bring it to the table, they get suppressed, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, what do I know? As a person in this country who's been suppressed of his own truth, what do I know? You know, and why would I ask, why would I be, why would I not ask questions? You know? I think we've long lived in this country where we have been told we cannot ask questions as black people. That's another thing that, that I think those who are shutting the door need to understand. We've been told by a lot of people for a long time that, nah, we can't have this information. We can't learn how to read. We can't vote we can't get that we don't get to know that we don't get to do that in school we don't get to learn that in school that's you see what i'm saying this is a lot of information that's been withheld from our people so when we look to ask certain questions and we see types this type of suppression yes voices like myself will feel the need to echo what is being suppressed that's something that must be understood as well you can shut kanye up but it's gonna be like 70 80 me's gonna say well yeah no i hear i hear what he said and i have a different way of asking the question so that message is still gonna get out there you know you have to you have to respect that as well uh, he's not the only person wondering and so i think like i said i think it'll go a long way in healing if we have this conversation shut us down if it, i mean shut me down i want to be shut down like look as it pertains to this show me the doctrine show me this show me that show me nothing whatever but I want answers. I want answers to what it is that's being told to me out here. 
that the that 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 the people we understand to be the individuals that we love and know as the Jewish people are not the original Hebrews from what I have been listening to which is hurtful words hurtful words to people that I very much would not want to hurt but we hurting too man we people we are people we are hurting too you got you got a little respect for our hurt too because we, we share that together man don't know who we are these books have lied to us. People have lied to us. They told us we we were this or that and the third. But you got to understand something about these people who don't know who they are. They look at their kids. Their kids can jump out the gym. Got magical musical gifts. Got all these different types of talents. We're evolving. We're seeing the evolution in us. Faster, stronger bigger, brighter, this or that, a third and a third, we see how special we are. That's what has to be taken into account. We walk out of our houses and we know we're strong. We walk out of our houses and we know we got talent and all this other stuff. So how can we not wonder if there's something to that? Do you see where that comes from? We're not just asking that because we hate you and we think you're someone we know. If there's any inclination that there's something to all this, we feel we have a right to know. Feel all right to know. We've been hated irrationally and really haven't had an explanation as to why. But we do see these special traits and these things that we see in ourselves when we walk out the house or, or, or we see our brothers, even if I'm not necessarily like that. I see my brother LeBron James, the dude can jump out the gym, super genius and all that. Is it possible that he's a descendant of an original Hebrew? How could he not be something special like that? How could he not be a person of God? Are you serious? I'm looking at guys like Web Manyama. I'm looking even even not sports figures. I'm looking at deeply, deeply talented people like Stevie Wonder, Prince and Michael Jackson. Are you sure? We're not the original Hebrews. Are you sure? Are you sure? That's where it comes from. It's like we don't know who we are, but we know we damn special. We know that. unique to the to others man with love and respect we have to at least acknowledge that we're unique to others bro i don't know that everyone can say that i don't believe that we can see that on display if it if, if there are numerous people like that we need to see them more you know, that's another thing. We, they exploit black skin so much. And when we do have special people, it's like, boom, they put them on display immediately. Boom, they put them on display immediately. So, yeah, we think we're more special, this or that. Because anytime we have a unique person, y'all immediately exploit it. And I say y'all with respect, but hey, you know. What are we talking about? I think, I think we know what we're talking about. <laughs> so why would I not think I'm something greater than what it is I've been told I am? When I wasn't told I was anything at all but a slave. So, I, you know, like, hey, man. Hey. Let's, let's just, let's find balance in what it is the conversation is. Don't just throw sticks and hammers at me because I'm coming here with this very hurtful conversation. Because it's, it's coming from a loving place. It really is. And that's the thing. It's not like I'm going to sit up here and say, okay, now that I found out this information, you can't pray like this no more. We want to take your doctrine and we need your money. No, I'm not supporting anything like that. I'm not supporting anything like that. You're still you. All the work you've put into who you are is still who you are, man. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? But if it can help us get us some answers, or if it can help us dispel some rumors, or if it can help us be less ignorant as to be so hurtful, whatever. I'm about that. That's what I'm about. BDF 44 is, is about that. That's the place I want to reach. Where we can walk in the room and say, we know the answer. Collectively, it's common. It's in our households. We're not sitting here wondering if we're the original Hebrews. We're not sitting here saying, you're not. We're not reading or listening into anything that would otherwise tell us that. We're not going to be, you know what I mean? If it's a lie, let it die in 2022. 
But I'll tell you, if you keep on suppressing this conversation and you keep on doing it like you've been doing it, you keep doing it like you're doing with Kanye, the conversation is going to get louder and it's going to get more disrespectful because people are going to start to demand that the suppression stop and then they're going to start to assume that the lies are real. You know what I'm saying? That's what comes with that. It's like, obviously, if you're not going to have the conversation, clearly you have something high, so therefore, assumption. And that's exactly how it's going to go. That's exactly how it's going to go. I don't think it has to go that way. I don't believe anything has to go like that because people such as myself who are willing to have the conversation bring it to a forefront. You know what I mean? And, and do it with, with respect. You know what I mean? With absolute respect. You know? With, 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 with understanding that All truths hold together certain Jenga. You know, if, if you if you know the game of Jenga, you pull the wrong truth, the whole thing falls apart. I understand that, friends. I understand that. There's a lot of things that are put together by certain lies in life. I get that. You pull that string and it all falls apart. Maybe we don't want that truth out. Maybe 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 it's best that not everybody know everything. But what I'm saying is, you got to know when you've reached a point where you can't stop the conversation no more. You know what I mean? It, it gets to a point where everybody who has any protection of circumstances or information has to know when the leak is out. When everybody is now looking at you saying, we want to know what's up. That's where we are with that. That's exactly where we are. As to where maybe any time before this, there was no conversation. Nobody wants to bring it up. It's, we're kind of scared, you know what I mean? Nah, no, we're not afraid anymore. Nope. Nope. We're respectful of what could go wrong, but the fear has now been replaced with a curiosity that won't go away. Because of the loudness of the suppression of Ye's voice. So now you're going to have people who weren't even asking about this conversation gonna be all over it now. And that's what he was trying to do, man. That's what he's trying to do. Everybody always falls into this guy's web. At the highest of the high, all the way down to people like myself in this apartment. They always take Ye's bait. And I'm watching those behind the scenes do that very thing. I'm watching them. They're taking his bait left and right. They're doing exactly what it is that his behavior does. He's triggering all of you just like you trigger us. Don't you see that? He's doing to them what they do to the people. He's looking at the clock saying, okay, it's time to trigger you. <laughs> Don't you see it? I know I do. I hope LeBron James somehow follows me. I pray to God somebody sends him this video, man, because he needs to see this angle. You're playing right into that, bro. Maybe you probably know that. But I wouldn't say do anything different because you have some very, 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 very important people to keep close that would be very much offended by anything to come out of his mouth, regardless if it was crazy or not. He just probably shouldn't even book him on the show right now. That's why you told us it was weeks ago. I get it. But I think at the end of the day, you're going to have to take black backlash because we don't want him suppressed, man. We don't want that dude suppressed. Even though he's teetering and we really don't know what side he's on. I want to see where he's headed with this. I want to see it play out. Now, if he get too crazy and too wild, he start thinking he a Putin type of dude. I can't follow him and shut him down, whatever you got to do. But I want to see where he's headed with this, man. I really do. Because that mobile food thing, that's intriguing, dude. That's really intriguing. If he's looking to put his money and his, his effort into stuff like that, that's game-changing stuff, man. Game-changing stuff. And I would encourage LeBron James, regardless of what it is that he feels about this particular thing, uh, to, to look into that yourself, man. Get involved in that, too. Get involved in that, too. Or some variation of that. Because uh, mobile farming systems, feeding people, you could think about all the places people can be fed. Hoods, places far away where they don't have any food. I think about 
feeding people that are in places that we don't even reach in jungles that, that want to shoot barrel, you know, arrows at us. You can help feed them too. Like there's no reason for any poverty or hungry when stuff like that is being worked on in the world. So that's where my mind goes. You want to really do some good, find little stuff like that. And ain't nothing little about it, but find things like that to support. You know what I mean? To balance out the suppression. That's what I would ask any and all people in power to do. If you got to silence a guy like Ye, find the good that he's doing and support it. Please. Please. That's what I'd ask you to do. Anyway. So that's how my mind works, man. I feel like I'm talking to one percenters and people in apartments and anybody else, man. I just believe in the power of words and where they can go. I know what they can do. But anyway, nevertheless, I hope everybody's having a fantastic evening. I'm feeling good. I'm in good spirits. I hope that I've brought some good energy to you in regards to this conversation. As I've told people before, I think it's important to say I love everybody, but specifically the Jewish people. I got love for you. Uh, and your pain is not disrespected here. I don't want to initiate your pain in vain. I'm trying to help heal and I'm trying to help my people come to a conclusion that don't have you angry at us and wanting to shut us out and just closing doors behind us and in front of us and all of that just because of um, just because of all of this craziness, you know, surrounding us. Literally, it's a lot. It's a lot. Regardless if you think we're not being accountable for it or if you think it's our fault or not this and that and the third, it is a lot. And it has been for a very, 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 very long time. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of anger in regards to my people. There's going to be a lot of ignorance because we've, we've been, you know, in a culture of, uh, you know, I don't even know what the word would be, but we definitely have not been herded towards academia and and health and all of these various different things that would make us make us able to just be a little more patient I guess would be what I want to say with stuff like this come from a place where there ain't a whole lot of time wasted you know so when we have something pressing on our mind we want to say it we'll say it right now and we'll get it out the way you know but anyway uh, I speak for myself, not necessarily everybody, but I believe there are a lot of people who would echo what I'm saying. So take it for what it's worth, man. Suppression, it has its place. You know, keeping people from saying certain things is a good thing sometimes. I don't want to hear everything. Some stuff, protecting my energy, I don't want to hear it. But when it comes to people like Kanye West, I think we just need to hear the fullness of what it is they're trying to say if they're not spazzing out and being completely... And utterly disrespectful. And if he was, then I can't support it. And if he was saying some crazy stuff about his 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 family, you know how you know, I can't necessarily say you should probably be saying those things on LeBron's platform. So just just as I would say, uh, you know, I don't want to hear, I don't want to see Ye suppress. I would say to Ye, brother, there are things you should not say. <laughs> and if you gonna say them things, I can't support you or those things so you know there's a limit to everything man and we have balance here with that too that's where i think i'll leave it man i appreciate everybody who actually sits through all of this <clears throat> i hope that someday someone <laughs> will take the snippets of things that make sense out of the things that i say and just you know condense them a little smaller man i, I give everybody the right to just condense <laughs> what they hear in these videos because i make making long videos man you might hear a snippet of something that might sound good do what, do what you will without I do not honestly have a thought about it today. I don't. So that's what I got to say, man. BDF 44. I thank you all for watching.